Hello. So, um, I thought I'd just do like a quiet introduction and stuff. I'm actually just about to like med do some meditation. Um, I had to move from the previous spot. There's a, like a spot further down in Loch Arthur um, here just to like be silent on my own um, to do some. Um, that's why like I actually didn't do much talking in the introduction because there was someone else fishing. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to do that much talking. <laughs> But yeah, this is just a short video. We're probably like three minutes three minutes in now. I'm just like, yeah, guys, just to say hi, how are you? Just like update you on what's going on. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I'm usually posting summit camping videos and so on, but I had like quite a lot of issues going on with um, one injury, which turned into two injury over the last 14 to 15 months and they just got worse and worse. Um, and I was doing everything correctly, rehab wise and everything just it uh, was burned down to just my job being physical that I think wasn't allowing me to heal, which is why I ended up with a second injury. Um, so it was just getting to the point where like the videos were pressure because of work being pressure and just all kind of too much. Um, so I decided like two months ago to take a break from YouTube. Um, also, I've taken sick leave off of my physical job as a personal fitness trainer. I've um, been doing the odd sports massage deliveries here and there, but just because I'm not entitled to sick leave because I'm self-employed. But as I get, as I said, just every two weeks I do one day of like five clients um, spaced out, and that's me. I'm just pretty much off sick at the minute. Um, been going through a course of like treatments. Um, so the updates on that is I'm currently going through acupuncture. It's a bit too soon to tell if it's actually helping. But I think today I had a bit of progress. I actually walked two miles and I had no pain. Whereas usually I started getting an ache at about 1.6. And I didn't proceed to continue walking. Um, because I just thought I'm not going to overdo it. So, yeah. Uh, I'll place you over here. Just so I don't have to hold you all the time. Yeah, so... Um, the next stage of action is to try... Well, I've got another month and a half off. End of September, I'm going to go back to work. Um, so in this time, I'm finishing the acupuncture. I might try shockwave therapy, but I do know something that did work a year ago. It's crazy to say that was a year ago now, honestly. Time has just... It, this, this Achilles tendinosis has really just prolonged too much. <laughs> um, yeah... I've done everything, you know, everything. I mean, you guys can help me in the comments if you want, but I've been to specialists. Uh, I'm a rehab specialist myself. I do rehab, that's my job. Uh, I've done everything. Um, and what worked most so far actually was what I did right at the beginning when I had the hydro dissection and then did the Alfredson method. And um, I kind of messed up a little bit. I, I thought I was ready to do a mile run because I'd been doing interval runs, but I did it a bit too soon. And ever since then, back in February, this year 2024 uh, I've done everything you should to rehab from a flare up and nothing's got better um, MRI scans shown that you know I've had the, the MRI scan it's shown that it's it'll get better but there's nothing there's just nothing happening in other words the the quadricep tendinosis is I think it's slowly getting better my rehab starting to work for that I need another two three months for it I'm hoping that will be almost better when I go back to work. That's really why I took the time off work. Because this Achilles is more of a long-standing injury that might take till next year. I hope it won't be forever, but we'll see. Um, wait for the car to go past. Uh, so, yeah. Enough of this serious talk. Well, it's not really that serious. But, um, uh, I'm going to go for... I might go for another hydro dissection. Um, I just know because that's what worked best last and it got me to the stage of walking six to seven miles low down again with a bit of incline and descent and I actually managed a couple of hills with no pain simple hills, nothing serious, just maximum three miles up and down um, but I, I know that means I can get back to that so I'm going to do it this time around possibly and I'm not going to run for a year I'm going to make sure I'm fully back to my hiking fitness before I start running and I am going to go to, um, even though I can do it myself, I just want to have some extra guidance of where I'm going to go to pay a, a good physio privately. Um,
to uh, introduce me to, well, introduce me the wrong word, um, to, sorry, to monitor me, to keep me, you know, in control of me, of what I'm doing and how I'm progressing, because I don't seem to be good myself with, you know, giving to clients I'm good, but doing it myself, I'm quite ahead of myself sometimes, so, yeah. Um, so there won't be any camping videos out for another two months yet, maybe. Um, yeah, I wanted to post something. I wanted to post something little up just to see how you're all getting on, and also just like thank you for being so patient with me. Um, and I really miss, I really miss making my videos once a week and releasing them. Honestly, I really do. It was a big part of my life. It became a big part of my life. I loved it. Um, and I will get back to it. I know as soon as these injuries allow me to, I will be back on it, um, creating some awesome content and some awesome adventures. I, I really, really, I had my 30th birthday, uh, now 30, woo! Um, started off my 30s, with a bit of sick leave straight away, had an epiphany, and I think it's the best decision I made, because <laughs> my mental health has improved so much as well, just not having that pressure. Um, started my meditation every morning first thing just sit in silence clear my mind and it's really helped a lot so um, yeah so there's a nice little catch up um, I'm hoping at some point potentially to go up the Cairnwell chairlift which is a ski chairlift at Glen Shee takes you about I've forgot, forgotten exactly how high but more than 900 metres uh, of course, I've been up there before, it was one of my very first Monroe's, so it'll be nice to be up there again. The ski lift literally starts about five, six hundred metres high and takes you to the top, pretty much. So, I know there's a spot around there to obviously pitch. <laughs> so, I'm thinking to go up there with Solo Summitier um, and get some solitude because I really need it. Um, but I'm just waiting until after I've done my hydro dissection and recovered from that till I um, potentially do that. Um, so yeah, as I said, I put a stop in all the camping and all the walks with... I wasn't doing much anyway, I was being very cautious when I was throughout the injury. I mean, that didn't cause me any harm, I was so careful. Um, but I just, the pressure, and it was just making me... It was making me annoyed because I couldn't go up higher than I wanted to and it was just really messing with my mental health. I know getting out and doing what you can helps, but in that situation, for me, I don't think it was helping because I was getting ahead of myself all the time and getting annoyed at myself or oh, looking at the hills and being like, oh, I could be up that right now, but blah, blah, blah. And it just wasn't helping. And I think having a complete clear break, you know, like out of sight, out of mind for me has just really helped me not to be in that miserable mindset. So, yeah. So I'll leave it at that. I've probably been talking like five minutes now. Um, but as I said, just a short video. Um, I've actually deleted my editing software payments. I should have done that ages ago, but <laughs> I realised I was paying 30 quid a month, but I was like, oh, I've not edited for two months. So I'm going to start that back up again when I start editing. I want to get back into it for October, so fingers crossed. Uh, even if it's... It, I know it won't be anything drastic. It'll just be what I was doing the last few months. Um, but, uh, yeah, get back into it. Start releasing some stuff. Um, and by next year, hopefully, we're doing a, some more uh, back to normal stuff. We'll see. So, yeah. Uh, I send all my wishes and stuff to you guys, honestly. I hope you're all doing well. Um, please let me know if you've been with me this far and you've come to this point of the video. Please let me know um, how you're all getting on. Uh, what trips have you got planned? What, what are you doing in August time? You know, let me know what you're doing. Um, I guess I've missed the midgy season. <laughs> That's a good thing. There's always a positive. Um, but yeah, uh, please feel free to follow me on social media. So uh, it's only Instagram really that I'm active on. So it's the same as my YouTube channel, Go Summit. So there's a little, or yeah, pink Cheshire cat that um, is in the profile picture. Um, so yeah, I do. A bit. I don't post much at the minute because I'm not doing much really. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in Dumfriesshire and Dumfries and Galloway, you know. And I'm just, you know. Um, 
but yeah i do post a bit of training and stuff i guess i post some stuff but yeah if you want to follow me on there feel free and um if you want any if you've got any questions about camping or gear or anything like that or tents or whatnot i'm always here still um to answer any questions um david's been getting out quite a fair bit uh yeah go and check out his latest videos they're pretty awesome um i think it's been quite good for him to get some solitude as well uh, i've been doing my own thing too i was in greece i've been to greece twice because my family are over there but it was boiling hot the second time and i suffered i didn't leave the house from 11 in the day all the way through till five at night and um, mum's still over there actually might go over for one more week because i've got a 70 pound discount voucher for a flight um because it doesn't cost me any more than being here than it does being there because we've got we have a house over there so um i'm pretty much going home um so i might do that uh we'll see uh, i have got a friend over there actually who has a four by four and they work and so on like up in the hills with like um animals cattle and sheep and so on goats and they're like 2,000 meters high, they're really high and um, so there's actually a way of me getting up that high if I do go this September and doing a bivvy with them <laughs> that'll be fun uh, so I will definitely vlog that if I do do it if I do go back to Greece I'm certainly going to do that it'll be amazing it will probably, it will be one of the highest I don't know if it'll be a camp if I'm bivvying though I'll, I'll have to bring my tent to camp to make it a camp I don't know um, but yeah, it will be one of the highest sleeps on a mountain that I've done so far, so that'll be interesting. Um, and yeah, so there's a few things to look forward to, camping-wise. But I will see you in the next video. Hopefully it won't be too long. But see you later, guys. Bye!